Dozens gathered tonight for a town hall discussion on a potential immigration policy change that has some in this community worried. News 4 Tucson's Eric Fink joins us live in studio with more on this story. Eric. John, the policy takes aim at low-income families who rely on food stamps and Medicaid and would make it more difficult for those people to get green cards and visas. Inside this Midtown Church Thursday, dozens gather to listen to immigration experts explain how Southern Arizona could be affected by the White House's public charge rule, a change in immigration policy that takes aim at the poor who rely on government assistance. Tanya Arbayo remembers growing up here in poverty. I had those resources growing up. My mother, um, she needed those for us. Um, she needed to have food stamps so she can feed us. Um, it, it's, she's a single parent, so you can only imagine she worked two jobs, taking care of three children. I'm still nervous because uh, this is going to affect some of my family, that they're still waiting to get a residence card. The public charge rule is based on a number of factors, including the need for welfare, education level, income level, and family size. Immigration lawyers say last week a federal judge blocked the rule from going into effect nationwide but now its fate is tied up in the courts. This temporary win for people like Tanya and her mother doesn't minimize their fear. My greatest concern would be just that, that people such as my family are gonna be attacked and they are gonna not have the resources and eventually they're not gonna be able to be here where they have been working and living for so many years. Now take a look at this tweet by Ken Cuccinelli. He's the acting director of U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, and he has pushed for this change. He tweeted, an objective judiciary will see that this rule lies squarely within long-held existing law. Long-standing federal law requires aliens to rely on their own capabilities and the resources of their families, sponsors, and private organizations in their communities to succeed. I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. Arizona and Sonora.